AITA for keeping score with my family and ruining dinner? I, 27M, am the third of four siblings and have always felt like an afterthought. Lori, 33F, Chuck, 29M, and Jade, 25F, have always gotten the first and best from my parents and each other. I get the leftovers if I'm lucky. I haven't gotten a birthday present from any of my siblings in about 10 years, but I still get asked to pitch in for group gifts for each of them every year. On Friday night we were having a family dinner and it honestly felt like every other sentence was a dig at me or a less than subtle brag by my siblings about something they have been given by my parents that I was denied. They talked about how nice almost all of our weddings were, but made sure to mention it was okay that my wife and I had a small low-key wedding. And it was okay, we loved it. But they brushed over the fact that my parents paid for all of my siblings' weddings, but not mine. Because somehow they couldn't afford it, because they were saving up for Jade's wedding. They brought up how little student loans they have, because my parents helped them. All of them lived on campus at expensive four-year schools. I lived at home and went first to a, very prestigious, very hard to get into, watchmaking school. I got paid to attend this school, so I paid rent at home. My parents paid for my tools. And I appreciate the help. I really do. But they paid 120-150k each for my siblings, they gave me 7k for tools. But to them it's equal. When I went back to school on my own I didn't ask for money and wasn't offered it. When my brother went back to school they covered everything without him even having to ask. There were many other small moments, comments about cars and other lifestyle choices, but what made me snap was my brother and his wife mentioning their marriage being so great because they do things like spontaneous dates, like the one they had the prior Friday night. The Friday night where my parents called my wife and I last minute to cancel plans they had to eat dinner at our house because they had to watch Chuck's kids because of an emergency. Turns out that emergency was a dinner for Chuck and my SIL at Texas Roadhouse. I had spent hours making my grandpa's ziti and meatballs with homemade marinara because it's my mom's favorite. I wanted more than anything to scream at them but instead I got up and left without saying a word and my wife followed me. When my mom called me later to ask why I left I just explained exactly why. I explained the favoritism, the unfairness, and the fact that it doesn't feel like they care about me. She didn't say much and I wasn't really looking for an explanation or an apology in the moment, I just felt like it was self-evident but if she really didn't see it I'd spell it out. Evidently at least parts of what I said have been shared with my siblings because now Chuck and Lori are furious at me and saying I ruined dinner and my mom is upset that I am hurt. They say I'm immature for keeping score. Ida? Additional info from comments. Jade is adopted, so no. But she has always been the baby and been treated as such anyway. My first draft had a lot more background but it was way over the character limit. I look almost exactly like my paternal grandfather, I even have the same thing with my eyes where they were blue when I was born but have formed a brown ring around the outside as I've grown up. So there's almost no possibility that I'm not my father's son if that's what you are getting at. Jade is on my side incidentally, and she feels awful about the wedding thing, but she didn't find out about them not paying for my wedding until about six months ago, which is six months after her wedding. She assumed that they had paid for part of my house or something, because verbally that had always been the deal. But no, I got to pay for my own wedding and my parents never honored the long-standing agreement of, we have money saved for each of you and you can either use it for a wedding or anything else you want as a wedding gift when you get married. This is not Jade's fault. She didn't ask for any of this. She didn't even get to plan her own wedding, my mom and Lori did that. It was extravagant because mom and Lori wanted it to be extravagant. Jade and her husband mostly hang out with my wife and I when they are in town. That has been a pattern for a long time. Family gives her stuff she didn't ask for to I guess make up for her early childhood sugging, and it's often at the expense of me. But since she was like six she'd always then share it back with me. Jade and I are fine, she shouldn't have been responsible for policing the fairness of the adults in our lives. Update. So, update time. About a week after that post my wife and I sat down with my parents and cleared the air. As several people suggested I wrote down my thoughts and compiled, to the best of my knowledge, a listing and full accounting of the disparity in what my siblings were given over the years and what I was given. I did actually sit down and do the math and it turns out that while I was at the Technicum I actually paid my parents more in rent than they ever paid for my tools. But the final reckoning came to between $370k on the high end, Jade, to $190k on the low end, Chuck, for how much my parents directly gave to my siblings that they never gave me. Sitting down and seeing the full amount all spelled out like that is probably the angriest I got during this whole mess. My parents had been aware there were discrepancies but really pushed back on the actual amounts until we sat down and went through each major gift slash incident case by case, by which point my dad admitted my reckoning was likely conservative. 
That was more or less the end of any productive talk that night, my dad just claimed they didn't think it had gotten that bad but wouldn't give any details about how they could have possibly not noticed. In the interim Chuck and Lori continued to escalate their anger, continued to call and text me, my parents, and extended family. I have not spoken to either of them directly since and don't expect to any time soon. Roughly a week after that first sit down my mom and dad asked to meet again. Lots was said but the gist is this, they felt I was doing well and didn't need their help. Basically they thought I would be fine without them. They admitted they probably live outside their means and gave more to my older siblings than they should have and could never have given me that much. They claim the timing of my wedding lined up with probably the most dire of their overspending slash lack of saving and that they literally did not have the funds to live up to their promise, especially as they were paying for Jade's tuition, car, and apartment at that time. They have offered money, they have offered to pay for vacations, a car, all kinds of stuff but I think they don't really get it yet. My wife and I don't want their money, but we aren't really sure yet what an ideal resolution to this looks like. At least they have admitted they were unfair and are open to working things out. My wife and I spent Easter with Jade and her husband and my grandparents, my mom and dad came over in the evening. This seems to be more or less the new normal for now.